In this demonstration, we're going to look at the side view proportions of a crossover versus an SUV with more off-road capability. Starting with the crossover, we're going to draw our five wheels, representing the typical wheelbase. We're going to set the rocker fairly high, close to the centers of the wheels, slightly below. We're going to set the cabin with the windscreen just aligned with the top of the front wheel. The overall height is going to be a little bit more than two wheel diameters tall. We'll put a little bit of protective cladding on the rocker. Keep the rear overhang fairly short. So this might be a vehicle that can travel on some roads, dirt roads, some uh, prepared trails, but nothing seriously off-road. Good for all weather, all season capability, but also equally capable on paved roads. Now contrast that with more of a proper SUV with off-road capability. We're going to make the tire diameter a bit bigger. We may not get to the proper three wheel diameters in between, maybe more like two and a half or two and three quarter. An off-road vehicle is probably one of the only exceptions to the five wheel diameter standard in terms of wheelbase. We're going to set the ground clearance much higher, clearly at the wheel centers. I'm going to give it a lot of approach and departure angle. I'm going to very tall cabin with a much more upright windscreen. Much boxier rear end. Maybe an upright C pillar. Something like a, a Jeep Wrangler, a Ford Bronco, or a Land Rover Defender. I'm going to give this thing a bit of, of an indication of a, a wheel opening that's, that's quite a bit bigger than the tire in order to accommodate uh, suspension travel. Put some tough and rugged forms on the body sides where the wheels are. Give it some toughness. Maybe put a roof rack on it. So this is a vehicle that's much more about off-road capability. It's about being tough and rugged. 